Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome back to another server admin tutorial or bucket plugin tutorial or spigot, whatever. They work on across the board. If you're joining for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button because I do these every week. This one's a day late because I recorded it yesterday, but my mic was not on, so that kind of stunk. But anyway, if you have a suggestion of a plugin you'd like me to do, feel free to comment that in the jibbles below. That would be the comment section for you new people. And um, if you'd like to vote on the next 10 plugins that I do, I made a list. You can vote for three of them and then that will help me sort out the order of the next 10 plugins. So anyway, this week is a shout out to Siren360, Finest MC, and Madness with in for suggesting custom enchants. Now what this one does is allows you to put in custom enchantments on tools that will happen at a certain probability when a person is doing the normal enchants in the game, which is really cool. You can also then just uh, create like power items to give to people, to give your donors. You can give enchantment, special enchantments to your donors. You can let them purchase enchantments through a menu GUI system as well as a sign. Sign note on the sign, it doesn't work right now. I'm still gonna go over it. And so when the author gets it uh, fixed for whatever reason or lets me know why it didn't work for me, um, I'll put an annotation and then you guys can figure out how that works. So anyway, how this some of the dependencies for this is obviously uh you need vault if you want to charge any money like in-game money for anything but it, you probably have vault uh you need um you know permissions plugin of course to to handle the permissions of it otherwise people won't be able to use any of the enchantments that you have i'll talk about the permission notes toward the end and then uh the last thing is you need uh, well you don't need but it does work with kits so i'll show you guys how to do that later on in the video really cool so basically all that we want to do is we're going to go ce menu is going to open up the gui system and you can see the items you can uh uh looks like that's disabled right now but you can go to enchantments and then uh we're going to go to tools i'm going to show you guys so then you can select explosive now what you do is once you get to here you select the item that you want to put that on and looks like bam and then it just kind of explodes which is kind of really cool the other one that i thought was really fun is we go into menu and then bow and then firework and then we select the bow and now we got fireworks so when we shoot it it lights up fireworks all the way which is i, don't know, I think that's kind of cool so then you can also do cas list items um which you can see all the items that you can get you can do ce list uh enchantments and that's going to list all the custom enchantments that you can have. You can set these up in the config file. We'll go over that in a few here. You can also then do, um, you can select, you know, hold an item and then do CE enchant, in, I can't spell, gears eight. So then that will put that enchantment on that one and then it makes it so we can run super fast, which is kind of fun. So anyway, let's let's get rid of that uh, and then heal ourselves. So then you can also give yourself items. This would be good for like your donor system. Maybe you can have your donation system kick this off when they when they purchase it or something like that. See a CE item. Uh, let's go Thor's axe. Um, okay, I guess it um, converted this to Thor's axe, but there we go. Every time, <laughs> I don't know why. Let's try that one more time. There we go. Now we got the axe. So don't hold anything else, otherwise it'll overwrite it and make a piece of cobblestone Thor's axe, which is kind of funny. So what you also can do is you can um, add, change uh, anything on whatever item you're holding so you can do ce change and if you want to change the name of it you can change the name of it um set help so now we've changed the name of that to be help you can put your color codes in there too which is kind of cool um you go ce change lore now lore is going to be the actual enchantment of the item uh so we can do add um stomp a uh, level three so now we've added stomp to that one as you can see in the pink which is kind of cool then you could do ce change lore reset gears 
Okay, so the last command that we have is CE give. I don't really have an example for it, but you can give, uh, I'll just put the command up and then we'll talk about it. So you could give players any material and make it any item or custom enchantment or vanilla enchantment. So you can give them a stick and put sharpness three on it in game, which is really cool. And then I'll put a list in the description for the, the list of uh, vanilla enchantments available for you, as well as, you know, you have the custom enchantments in your config file. Now the shop area, like I said, is not really working. I have not been able to get it to work, but the way that it is set up on the author's page is in, you put uh, on the first line, custom in chant. And then the enchantment that you want to do, so gears, let's say, and then the cost of it. So we're going to do 100. So the way that this works is if, if the person comes up to it and they're holding the item that they want to put the enchantment on, you then they would right click and then it would take that money and put the enchantment on the item that they're holding. If they already have that enchantment, it would then increment it and uh, make it the next level so I'm not sure why that was not working there's not really a whole lot of information on it so uh, yeah we'll come back to it I'm sure all right so for the kits I'm just gonna kind of talk about the kits real quick if you want to add these kit to your current kits in essentials I you know it probably would work with some other kind of kit plugin if you're using that but with enchantments um, I'll put a picture right here of the example that I have um, if you want them to have the item itself like thor's axe for example that's going to be name colon and then the item name in the list there if you want to have them to have those custom enchantments that's going to be lore colon and then the enchantment name and then a roman numeral for the level so if we want to eight it would be v uh, i i i yes so look up Roman numerals if you need to figure that out. But And then you want to put a pipe between, if you want to put multiple enchantments on an item or multiple custom enchantments on an item, you need to put the pipe in. The pipe is the, uh, if you hold shift and you hit that key right above the enter key, that's going to be the pipe. And then that's how you do it. It's kind of like to denote the next line of your lore. And that's how you set up the kits. Like I said, just take a look at the picture that I put up for you. And uh, yeah, that's it for in-game right now. Let's hop over to the config file and take a look. Okay, so here we are in our server area. Now, uh, we've already got our server started, so we're gonna go into our plugins folder, and then it it's gonna create this, this folder for custom enchant. Side note, if it doesn't create that folder, then it's failing to start for some reason, so you wanna go back and go into logs and then check your latest log to see why it failed to start most likely wrong version or yeah there's no really dependencies on this one so it's most likely just the wrong version but anyway we're gonna go into custom and chance and we're gonna open up our config file so side note before anybody else asks me it's kind of driving me well not really driving me crazy but i don't run xp i run windows 7 i just like to turn off all the bells and whistles because they just are resource hogs so anyway Let's get into it. Uh, pretty self-explanatory on these. Create explosions. You can enable logging so you can check and track down maybe if there's certain enchantments that are ca causing lag. Um, and then you can change the color of the enchantment. Right now it's dark red and italic. If you want those colors, I'll put a link in the jibbles uh, to the, the list of colors that you can do. And then uh, enchantment table. That means that it's going to uh, go with the enchantment table. It's going to have a chance to get those so that's a probability of 10 i believe that's 10 percent. i'm not sure there's nothing on the author's pages that really denote that so must maximum custom enchantments that means there's a you can have up to a thousand made um and then require permissions we'll talk about the permission nodes in a bit but you can require them so that you can restrict certain enchantments to certain people and items to certain people stuff like that repeat delay pretty self-explanatory so here's the enchantment section so you got the name of the enchantment enabled true or false and then the display name and probability five in 100 and then uh enchantment max level of five so it can go up to five and then if you want to put a cost now the cost is associated with the menu item like that and now that's pretty much the basic for each enchantment after that you have these custom things that you want to put on here speed boost now there really isn't like 
I couldn't really find a page and maybe I just couldn't find it uh, to explain all the custom things that you could put in here, but there's a lot of great examples in here so you can kind of pick and choose. So we got lightning chance, speed boost, duration, strength, cool down, forbidden materials so it won't operate on those materials. Um, bleed chance, duration, radius, large radius, uh, heal, that kind of stuff. So uh, those are all the enchantments. We're going to go down to the items. Now here's where you can create the items. Now once again we get these. This is pretty much the basic for each one. We have the color uh, which you can use that link before and then uh, display name description which is the lore of the item and then cost if you want it to cost anything in the menu. And then uh, once again we don't really have a good breakdown of the custom things you can do but you can kind of pick and choose from what's out there and um, and go from there which is pretty cool so it's it's uh not a whole lot to go over and uh it's got a whole lot of powerful things that you can do for your custom items and enchantments and all that so let's get back in and let's talk about the permissions okay so the permission nodes is pretty basic you got ce dot and then whatever and then dots the item that you want to operate on. So we got ce.command. So there's a whole list of commands that you can give access to. So you got ce.command.menu that gives your users ability to open up that uh, enchanting menu option. Maybe you only want your donors to be able to buy enchantments like that. So you can do ce.command.give. Maybe some mods will have that. ce.command.change, probably only admins. ce.command.enchant, maybe donors if you want to give them the ability to do some custom enchants. Now here's kind of the basic thing that you want. If you want your users to have access to every enchantment out there, you need to give them ce.ench.star. Now, if you want to give them uh, access to only certain enchantments, then you need to do dot and then the enchantment name. And then the item is ce.item item name now this one might be you know or if you want them to have access to all the items that's dot star so that one might have issues with if you name if you have a name of an item with an apostrophe in it might have some problems finding that so you might want to change some of the names and just avoid that apostrophe so that's all i got for you guys hopefully you found this helpful and um enjoyable please give a thumbs up for the old man hat i don't really wear it too much because it's an old man hat but anyway this is cause from mcfriends reminding you guys all enjoy the game god bless